in addition to consolidating political power, some might say usurping it, the Hojo clan were also busy delivering effective government and a fair legal system. Across the Miura Peninsula from Kamakura, over the mountains and through the Asahina Pass, lay the deep water port of Mutsuura and the Kanazawa branch of the Hojo family were responsible for administering this domain And here, a member of the Hojo family, Sanatoki, who was the Chief Justice of the Hyojo Shu, the Japanese Supreme Court, collected a vast number of legal documents from Japan and China and stored them here and also brought the greatest legal minds from the Imperial capital of Kyoto to train him and advise him in building a fair and just legal system that was praised and utilised by everyone, rich and poor. And after Sanatoki passed, all those legal documents, and other documents too, were brought together in what was Japan's first library, the Kanazawa Bunko, which is still stored in the museum next door. As the years passed, and the Kamakura Shogun itself became consigned to the pages of books, so it was that Sanatoki's literary and legal collection of documents became dilapidated and almost lost. But they were restored by a latter day shogun, the first Prime Minister of Japan, Ito Hirobumi. And this is the building that was constructed to house Sanitoki's collection of legal documents and other wisdom filled texts. I'm going to go inside now. This month they're having an exhibition about key figures in the Hojo family. Having this library and museum with its centuries old manuscripts and art collection so close to where I live is, for a Kamakura history enthusiast like me, absolutely brilliant. I can pop in any time to look at the old documents or leaf through local history books that I just wouldn't have a chance to look at anywhere else. So I often do find myself sitting here for hours sometimes, finding out pieces of history that I couldn't possibly find if I was sitting in a library anywhere else. What this? I, I'm just taking a five minute break.